Welcome to my Samsung Nexus 7 second generation open box video. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this video if it is in fact for informative. Thanks. So let's get to start. I'm um, going to push it open, set the box there. Now, they do have a seal on the box, so we're going to cut that seal. I like cutting seals on boxes, but I have to take great, great care because I, well, I like to keep boxes. I'm one of those weird people that keep all their boxes. So we broke the seal on the box. Now we open it. And there it is, the Nexus 7. Um, looks great. Nice, solid, sleek design. Feels very heavy, very meaty. Um, doesn't feel plastic at all. Um, let's go ahead and take off the plastic wrap. Wow, feels great. And my hands coming right out of the box. <clears throat> the screen looks amazing. The back feels excellent also. Um, Nexus, it's done made by Asus. I have a variety of Asus products. Decided to try out this um, Nexus 7 um, because I have the Nexus first generation also. The, the screen is so immaculate um, and so pristine. It's giving a nice reflective um, bounce back of the light in my camera, which I'm using to record this. And the camera I'm using to record this is my Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'm a big Samsung fan. I'm a big Asus fan. Let's see what else is in the box here. We have the Nexus 7 Notes. Turn on, press hold, press the hold and hold the button for a few seconds for online help and support. Visit support.google.com backslash nexus. Oh, there's the instructions. There's the power charger. The Nexus 7 warranty and safety information. And then the uh, USB cable. Mini USB cable, in fact. Let's see if there are any more contents in this box. I do not believe so. I think that's pretty much it. Nope. Very minimal, environmentally safe boxing. Um, let's turn on the Nexus 7. I am going to power it up. There's a power button here looks like the volume buttons. Um, on the Nexus um, 7 first generation, pretty much think the buttons are in the same place. Sometimes they're hard to find, especially if you have a nice protective case on them. I will have a protective ca case on this, but let's go ahead and power it up. And of course, the Google name pops right up. Man, the screen is super reflective extra crisp shiny i don't know what kind of glass they're using on this but let me look at the box the back of the box uh the box is so plain all right te damos bienvenida came to me loaded with spanish i'm an english speaker we'll move forward ask me to select the wi-fi network i'm going to go off camera and select one Now I'm connecting to a Wi-Fi network, off camera, of course. Save secure with what?
I'm connecting to the network off camera and it's giving me the information that it's saved, secured with the web, but it doesn't seem to be moving uh, beyond that point. Um, hmm. Well, folks, what's interesting is that I appear to be connected to our local network here at home, but it does not appear to move beyond that setting. Once I am connected to the network, it says signal strength good, connect. I'm off camera going through this because um, I don't want to share the wireless network or the password with the millions of my viewers out there on the internet. But I am quite confused as to why this thing is not progressing or advancing along. This is amazing. Um, usually I have great success with these things and I've hooked up my Samsung Galaxy Note, my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 seven inch tablet. And once you log onto the wireless internet, it takes you on to another step in the process of setting up your tablet for the first time. However, um, there is a real issue here in that I've connected to the network. Um, I'm going to say forget and see if it can go back and connect again. And I'm going to go back and see if I can connect again. All right, it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. It looks as though it was a password problem. Um, the system is shutting down and it's gonna reinstall and uh, install an actual software update from Google. So it was a problem on my part, folks, in entering uh, the improper case for uh, the font used in the password. So I, I must say that the password and connecting to the internet was fairly simple. Uh, I'm going to stop the camera now as a uh, system update installs. One of the benefits of having the Nexus brand tablet, uh, Google Android, is that apparently or allegedly from what I've heard, is that the tablet is supposed to automatically update the software because it's a Google OS for the Android network. Now, on Galaxy tablets and smartphones, I understand that you have to receive an update either from Samsung or give permission to Google and then manually update it. Whereas in the Nexus family of uh, tablets and devices, the Android operating system will automatically um, update itself. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't know why someone would sell that as a feature because I know for a fact that on Samsung and their family of products, you can automatically update the software by selecting an application in the settings that provides for automatic updates to your apps and or operating system. But nonetheless, we're here now and the system is updating. One of the things I like about this open box is that there, it was very simplistic um, not a lot of material in there, uh, but then 
that can be a hindrance to someone who is a first-time tablet owner and is into reading directions and whatnot. But there are directions there. Let me put this aside and look at the minimum, minimal directions here as it updates. This is only the warranty and safety information. Oops. Full Wilds update. All right, there it is. We're back on the home screen. English. We'll move forward. And then it's asking for a wireless network again. And I'm going to insert the password. Now it's asking whether or not I have a Google account, and I do. And it's asking me to sign into my Google account. When I sign into my Google account, I pretty much expect that it will populate the applications menu with all my apps, automatically connect me to my email and my calendar, and then I'll be set and ready to roll. So let me do that now. Enter my email address and password. Okay, I have everything entered and now it's signing in. It says it can, this can take a few minutes. Google services, um, it asks whether or not you want backup and location. Um, usually I, I do this and I allow it to do this. Um, Just for simplicity, I, I, I do that. Come on. <laughs> the f it restarted again. Wow, what's going on? Well, anyway, folks, um, signing off, Sean Martley. Thanks. Be sure to like or dislike. Bye. I'm going to edit this video. Be sure to like or dislike this video if you found it helpful and useful. Thanks. Signing back on.